you know, a little bit more in the rotation. Mm -hmm. What's he giving you? What do you like uh, about kind of his growth? Toughness, uh, effort. You know, he's uh, chomping at the bit. You know, um, I'm in charge of kickoff, too. And I like those guys that are dying. I mean, just wearing me out to get on the kickoff team. That's O'Brien. He is wearing me out, and I like that. I mean, he wants to go. He wants to go. So he's got great toughness, great attitude, all those things. He's to improve his athleticism, which he's working on. And with that comes technique. You know, you improve your technique, you improve your athleticism. I'm sorry if you've already been asked yeah, before, okay. but with um, obviously – Corey had the, the incident down there with the, the mm -hmm. personal foul penalty. I, I'm sure along the line you've coached guys who have that kind of that tenacity that you love, but it, you know sometimes it can be kind of a, a problem. Where's that yeah. fine line between? Well, uh, you know the fine line is aggressive penalties. I'm okay with ignorant penalties. I'm not. I don't know where that one lies to be honest, because I never. It's not on the film, and I've asked. It's not on the TV copy or anything. I know this. He's a. He's a. Uh, uh, very energetic, uh, very caring kid. So he, he'll handle it the right way. You know, we just can't make those mistakes. You know, playing hard with effort and getting an effort penalty is one thing, but we can't have that mistake in that situation. I guess on the flip side, he mm -hmm. came really close to sacking Murray just mm -hmm. one play or two plays yeah, after that. So I mean, he, yeah. he, y'all talk about snap and clear. I mean, that was yep. exactly. I think it was the next snap. You know, he came in there and he had a chop block and came over it and close to the sack. So yeah, you know, uh, you know. As a whole, our group is just, just attitude. I mean, we've come out these two days, and they've just grounded up, man. I mean, they've been they've been fun to coach. Does that start with the with those upperclassmen? I know you got some yeah, seniors does. there. No does that start there? Go start with Corey Miller. Every day I walk in the meeting room, he's in a good mood. He's ready to go. So Marlon Wall, same thing. So it's just great to have those older guys that are in there because the younger guys feed off of. Them. I think we've asked you just about every week, I think, but how's Carr kind of doing in his progression at this point? It's a work in progress. You know, this this week is a great week for Jason Carr. He's had more reps in this week than he's probably had in the last three. So this is a, a great opportunity. I don't think we've asked about Clark in a while. How's his yeah, kind of really, – he seems to be getting in there and making Yeah, he happen. does. You know, he's uh, a young man that's got some technical issues, but uh, – I love his attitude. He's working hard. He's playing more. So it's fun to see those young men that have kind of worked themselves. Now they're getting on the field a little bit. They appreciate it. Uh, and they're sort of striving to get better. Thank you. What's your hope for Salisbury?